In this video, I'm going to be adding a shadow to this couple, and I'm going to be removing the dock, and I'm going to set the couple on the road. I originally did this video a while back, and the original photo looked like this, and then I took another photo that looked like this, and then when I cut the couple out, I set them in this photo like this. But I kept the dock in the image and somebody asked me if I could remove the dock and if there was a way to simulate a shadow the way there is on this dock. And there is now that we have Photo Director 9. So I'm going to redo this video and I'm going to place the couple on the road. So I'm going to be removing the dock completely. So the first thing I'm going to do is come up here to my select area tool and with this lasso selected not the smart lasso but just the regular lasso I'm oops have to make sure you're on the right layer just click and drag and make a selection around them And it can, you don't have to be exact just yet because we're going to fine tune it in a minute. This is just to get our first quick selection. And then hit the invert selection. And then delete selection. And it reveals that layer below. So now we can start fine tuning it. We can take our feather down to zero. We don't want a feather on it. And we can try going around it again, just a little bit closer. And you can zoom in if you want. Just going to go real quick here. If you don't want to go completely around right now, you just want to, because I'm getting to the bottom of my mouse pad. And I don't want to pick up my mouse. I don't want to mess up the selection. So just close the loop like that. There we go. And you can you can do that as many times as you want if you want to just create these loops like that if you find that easier. Or we could take the eraser tool Make sure your opacity is at 100. And just get in real, whoops, you need to get rid of the selection. So click Command D to deselect. There we go. Now we can start deleting, or erasing rather. And if you don't like this tool, we can always switch to select area tool and switch to another tool, which is the ellipse. And then we can just make these elliptical selections like this, where it just continues to make selections. It just continues to add until you come up here and do delete selection and clear. And you could just go around the photo doing that if you wanted. I mean, it's really up to you what tool you're most comfortable with. You could try the magic wand. Um, I'll change my tolerance. And I will keep it on contiguous in there. But that's not the best tool, really. So just pick a tool that you find the easiest and just remove the background from this couple. So I've completed removing the background from the original photo, so that included the dock. 
and I placed them on this roadway. And I moved them a little bit, and I actually reduced it a little, a little bit, not too much. Um, so the next thing that we want to do is duplicate them like this, in case we make a mistake when we do the shadow. So I've renamed it. I called it Couple with Shadow. And then let's duplicate the layer. And we can rename this one uh, without shadow or no shadow. So let's turn that layer off and let's put the shadow on this one. So click Effects and click Drop Shadow. And then just play with the intensity and the dial here, the light source. I put it right about there so the shadow can be seen on the bottom of the feet here and where they're sitting on the road. That's what I think is the most important shadow here. And you can increase the distance a little bit and change your opacity. just go like that and if you're not happy with this we can work on the layer that we made a copy of and click OK and that looks good the shadow looks natural so if you're happy with this you can just go ahead and merge all these layers so I hope you like this video